I'm going to replay Messi's career from the very beginning. I've given him his FIFA 06 overall and potential, made him 18 years old, even got rid of his beard. Now I'll be playing through the next 10 seasons of Messi's career. Can in this alternate reality Messi still win multiple Ballon d'Ors? Well, it's gonna be challenging, because Messi's going to have the worst agent ever, the wheel. Every season we're gonna spin the wheel, and whichever club it chooses, that's where Messi gets transferred to. But here's the twist. The wheel has banned Messi from joining Barcelona. Well, I guess this is Messi's chance to prove that he isn't a one-club player. Here we go, boys. We've got an 18-year-old Messi, 78 rated. I'm not gonna lie, being 78 on your first ever FIFA, that is a bit of a madness. But also, look at how young Messi looks. Messi in his pre-beard era, man. That was something else. Ooh, but an 18-year-old Messi's stats are a bit sus. 82 dribbling, nah. Three-star weak foot as well. Bruh. 73 finishing. Are you mad. Well, over these 10 seasons, we're gonna try and max out Messi's stats and overall, so don't you worry, because we'll need the stats to be high if we want to see Messi win at Ballon d'Or's. But about that, he's not gonna be achieving any sort of success at Barcelona, because Barcelona are banned from being on the wheel. And as I said, every season we gotta spin the wheel, and we're doing it now for the first season. Oh boy, it's landed on by Leverkusen, so an 18-year-old Messi is gonna have to start his career in Germany. I'm very curious to seeing if a young Messi can handle the physicalities of the Bundesliga. Okay, guys, what have we gotten Messi into? He's playing in this weird five-at-the-back formation at Bayer Leverkusen. But hey, at least Messi's starting out his career along with some really good players, including an Argentinian in Palacios. But I still think Messi's gonna need a bit of help. And so every time Messi joins a new club, we're allowed to sign one former teammate of Leo Messi. And so for his time at Bayer Leverkusen, we're signing his Argentinian compatriot, Nicolas Otto. Otamendi. An 18-year-old Messi could do with a bit of protection from someone like Otamendi. I'm actually curious, guys. Is Messi gonna really deliver in a new league like the Bundesliga without the likes of Xavi, Iniesta, and all around him? We're simulating through the season to find out. Wait, what? We're at the end of the season and I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Messi has gone up by five overalls. He's literally unleashed his potential. 28 goals and 11 assists. That is crazy. Messi was also the top scorer of the Europa League. He finished fourth in the Bundesliga top scorer charts. Of course, because Bayern are playing in the same league, Leverkusen were never going to win the league, but third is still pretty awesome. It does look like no trophies for Messi though, but even in the Europa League, it took PSG to knock them out. 28 goals and 11 assists for Messi's first season is absolutely wild. And maybe next season, he can take his game even further with Bayer Leverkusen being in the Champions League. But hold up. The wheel is gonna decide where Messi heads next. If the wheel says Bayer Leverkusen, he could spend another season here, but that's not what's gonna happen instead. The wheel is sending Messi to Chelsea. Of course, because Messi had a good season, the wheel was upgraded. And you know what? Chelsea might actually be a massive dub. Looks like the wheel isn't really a terrible agent after all. And so we're sending Messi to England for season two, where he'll be playing for Chelsea. Do you know what? This kind of makes a bit of sense. Because if you follow Messi on Instagram, you'll notice that among the few football clubs he follows, Chelsea is one of them. So I think Messi is kind of a hidden Chelsea fan. But it might take him a while to adapt to this Chelsea team. Because look at this, boys. It's so average. For a Chelsea team, the defense looks meh. The midfield with Enzo looks amazing. And Enzo is one of Messi's favorite teammates, probably. But I think if we want to see Messi thrive here in the Premier League at Chelsea, he's going to need a bit of help. And so we've got Ronald Araujo joining Chelsea to help Messi out. Now, Messi and Araujo didn't play that much together, but briefly at Barcelona when Araujo was just breaking through, Messi was literally his captain. So I think Araujo owes it to Messi to help him out now. And we're now getting through the Premier League season to see how Messi does. End of the season and yup, it's fair to say Messi has arrived. He's now 88 rated. How crazy is that? Remember we started off Messi with terrible stats? Look at him now. 90 dribbling, 91 pace. It's crazy. Ooh, but on the pitch, Messi found the Premier League a little bit difficult. Just 12 goals and 9 assists. And his Chelsea team finished third in the Premier League and got knocked out in the Europa League. I think individually Messi's doing well. A total of 40 goals and 20 assists so far in two seasons. But if he wants to win a Ballon d'Or, he's gonna have to start winning some trophies. And maybe a bit of stability here at Chelsea could really help because this team is actually pretty good. But continuity is something the wheel does not understand. But at least the good thing is there are some better clubs on the wheel now, like Arsenal, AC Milan, and also there's a small chance Messi might get to stay at Chelsea. We're spinning the wheel to see where Messi's gonna end up again. Ooh, 
Ooh, Borussia Dortmund, so a trip back to Germany for Messi. I'm kind of annoyed because I feel like Messi has unfinished business in the Premier League because his stats were a bit meh. But I'm sure Messi will return to the Premier League at some point in this video and completely crush it. And for season three, we're sending Messi back to Germany. But this time, the wheel has decided that it's Borussia Dortmund where Messi should be going. Hold up, guys. I thought Messi was going to be joining an average team, but this Dortmund team is actually crazy. An 86 rated Holocek up top, Julian Brandt's a baller, Schlotterbeck and Sule at the back, and 90 rated Kobel in goal. This might be the club where Messi can win his first trophy. I've also just signed Vitinha to help Messi out. Messi and Vitinha briefly played at PSG together. I think there was a bit of beef between them, but they're gonna need to keep that aside because I think this is Messi's chance to win some trophies. You don't know where the wheel's gonna send him next. Messi's gotta make the most of it. End of the season and it looks like Messi loves the Bundesliga. 32 goals and 11 11 assists is wild, and he's also gone up to a 91 overall. No way, I can't believe it. Messi's actually won the league in the Bundesliga with a club like Dortmund. That is a massive achievement to beat Bayern Munich to the league title. No way, Messi could win the German Cup too. Come on, Messi, let's see if we can do it against Bayern Munich. That would be crazy, and oh my days, he's done it. He didn't score in this game. All he did was get a yellow card, but he's won two trophies at Borussia Dortmund. That's actually mental. After three seasons, Messi now has 72 goals, 32 assists, and two trophies. He's also 91 rated now, which maybe makes him a contender for the Ballon d'Or. But a lot's gonna depend on where Messi's heading next. Ooh, AC Milan. That is very interesting. Time for a trip down to Italy for Messi. But before Messi makes his way to AC Milan, he's got a World Cup to try and win. This is a prime 91 rated Leo Messi. I know he's only 22, but I think he's got a chance. Okay, they've started off well by topping their group. Knocking out Germany, that's massive. And even France, this is crazy. No way, they've knocked out Belgium in the semis. Argentina are in a World Cup final. At the age of 22, Messi might just complete football right here. Can he actually win the World Cup? No! That was Messi's golden chance. I cannot believe it. That is so unlucky. Messi didn't really have an outstanding World Cup. He scored a couple of goals, but that's about it, really. He's gonna have to bounce back from this. I guess the only way Messi can put the disappointment behind him is by joining AC Milan and destroying the Serie A. And okay, Messi's playing at a crazy AC Milan team. He's got his buddy Julian Alvarez alongside him, Rafael Leao as well, Kai Havertz, Suboslai, Benesse. Yo, this is a world-class team. I'm not even sure if we need to bring in a former Messi teammate here because this team is crazy. It's time to see if Messi can conquer the Serie A. But first, we're making a pit stop for the Ballon d'Or ceremony. Do you know what? I think Messi's got a chance. World Cup final last time around. Won the Bundesliga with Dortmund. Nope. Ah, but it's not enough to win the Ballon d'Or. Messi needs to probably win the Champions League, man. Okay. No, Man City and Erling Holland knock Messi's Milan out. No Champions League means Messi's never gonna win the Ballon d'Or. Wait, how is this even real? Messi's former club Dortmund ends up winning the Champions League? Bro, the wheel is literally screwing Messi over. But yo, Messi is still doing what he can do on the pitch, boys. 32 goals and 7 assists. Second in the golden boot charts as well. But mainly, he's helped AC Milan win a trophy, the Serie A. That's two leagues now that Messi's dominated, the Bundesliga and the Serie A. He's won the Super Cup here as well. But what we need to see is Messi win the Champions League, because that's the only way he'll be a Ballon d'Or winner. And let's see where the wheel is going to be sending Messi. Oh, oh my days, and it's AC Milan for once. Messi's going to stay at the same club. Do you know what? I think the wheel believes that Messi can win the Champions Champions League with AC Milan. And you know what? We've not signed a former teammate of Leo Messi to AC Milan, and maybe now's the time. And it seems like a no-brainer to sign a defender like Mark Kinios, who Messi played with at PSG. That's a quality defender that could maybe help AC Milan win the Champions League. We're now making our way through the season. End of the season, and look at Messi. He's up to a 94 overall. That's the highest rating I think he's ever had in any FIFA, and he's achieved this in five seasons. Oh, but he only scored 25 goals this season. That's still a good number, though. Won another Serie A title? But the Champions League, it's just... 
It's just not happening. Maybe Messi needs to head to a bigger club. Usually, I want the wheel to keep Messi at the same club, but now I'm thinking, let's go somewhere else. Would have really been nice if Barcelona was on this wheel, but sadly, they're banned. Instead, the wheel now has some really big clubs, and Messi deserves it. He's 94 rated, but where is he heading next? To Spain, but it's Atletico Madrid. Imagine Messi playing in Spain for another club. Bro, they, they, this is not fair. And here we go. Messi is being unveiled as an Atletico Madrid player. Ooh, guys, this is weird. Seeing Messi in an Atletico kit, yikes. But I'll say this, boys. He's 24. He's won a few different league titles. No Champions League yet and no Ballon d'Or. In real life, by 24, Messi had a hat-trick of Ballon d'Ors. I'm not gonna lie, this Atletico team doesn't seem all that insane. I mean, it's good, but this time, Messi does need help. And by help, I mean Cristian Romero, Messi's international teammate. We've got him at Atletico and you know what? the kind of way he plays, he kind of fits at Atletico. It's time for Messi's first game against Barcelona at Atleti. Bro, this feels wrong. Messi to play against Barcelona. Nah, I can't take it. And of course, Barca win. Messi didn't even score. I think Messi felt too bad to score against them. Even though Messi didn't score against Barcelona, he does end up winning the league. Messi has now won league titles in three different leagues. That's crazy. He also won the Spanish Cup this season. How did Messi and Atleti do in the Champions League? Well, they topped their group. Got through the round of 16 for once. Okay, I'm getting excited. They knocked out Chelsea on pens. And Wolfsburg in no way. It's a Champions League final for Messi. This is it. This could be what gets him a Ballon d'Or. 95 rated Leo Messi. Surely this is it. He probably will get shipped off by the wheel to another club next season. So he has to win this. Come on, Messi. No excuses here. You have to win the Champions League this time. Come on. I can't believe it. I can't believe it, man. No. Man. Massive ale in a Champions League final. Feels like there goes this Ballon d'Or. To be fair, individually, it didn't look like Messi had an outrageous season. He was getting carried by Gabriel Martinelli of all players. But in these six seasons, Messi has scored over 150 goals, but he's not able to win the big trophies. Lost the Champions League final, a World Cup final. But you know what? We've still got four seasons left. I'm just hoping the wheel sends us to solid clubs where we've got more opportunities. Also, guys, if you want to see me do this video with Neymar, I need y'all to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as well. Oh, wow. Now we've only got the big boys left on the wheel. Where's Messi heading next? Ooh, Liverpool. Ah, that's going to be interesting. Well, the Premier League is one of the leagues Messi hasn't won yet. So Messi's back in the Premier League, but this time at Liverpool. Not going to lie, Messi's playing in an unbelievable team. Yo, and Pedri's already at the club. That's a former Messi teammate, and I guess we don't need to sign anyone. Come on, I want to see Messi win the Premier League. End of the season, and Messi can continues to get better and better. 96 overall. Had a pretty decent season. 21 goals and 17 assists. I think that's the most assists he's had in a season. He was probably supplying Darwin Nunez with a ton of goals. Has that resulted in any big trophies? And yes, boys, Messi has won the Premier League for the first time. Let's go. That means he's now won league titles in four of the top five leagues. And that is just crazy. But what about the Champions League? Okay, they didn't reach the final. Bro, Liverpool didn't even qualify. What? No way, they weren't even in the Europa League or the Conference League. Nah, nah, nah. The wheel really did Messi dirty by sending him to a club that can't even win the Champions League. Does that mean he's not going to win a Ballon d'Or? Well, thankfully not. Because for winning the Premier League with Liverpool, Messi does end up winning the Ballon d'Or. His first one yet. That just shows how much pull the Premier League has. But yeah, it's David Beckham giving him the award. Kind of reminds me of real life. It took Messi seven seasons, but he's won his first Ballon d'Or. Over 170 goals as well. But he's yet to win a Champions League or even a World Cup. We've got three seasons to try and make it happen. Talk about winning the World Cup. Messi's got one final chance. It's the 2030 World Cup. And Argentina have topped their group with the likes of Germany and France. They knocked out Romania and Hungary. Semi-finals, they knocked out Spain. No way. Another World Cup final for Messi. Surely this time he can win it. This is a 96 rated Messi at the peak of his powers. A World Cup now would be crazy. Come on, let's see if Messi can do it against Croatia in the final and he scores in a World Cup final. A brace. Bro, this is literally like real life. Messi wins the World Cup. To be fair, Messi's only two goals in the World Cup came in the final, but when it mattered, I guess he delivered. Deshoff winning the World Cup. It's time to see where Messi's heading next and it's Bayern Munich. Bro, Messi's about to play for literally every Bundesliga club at this rate. Only the Champions League is now left 
for Leo Messi. And to win that, what better club to join than Bayern Munich? Okay, wait, this is not the Bayern Munich team I expected. Bro, it's such an average team. Messi and Musiala are good. Hoyland up top is awesome. Saliba too. But what is the rest of the team? I think over here at Bayern, we need to bring in a former teammate of Messi. And for that, we're signing Pedri. Now, I know you might be thinking, didn't we already have Pedri at one of Messi's previous clubs? Well, we didn't actually sign him. He was already there at the club, so we're still allowed to bring him in. Messi and Pedri are going to need to really carry this team. But we're getting through the season to see if Messi can win the only trophy that's left. Oh, wow. This Bayern Munich guy underestimated how bad they were. Fourth in the league, out in the Champions League to Osasuna. And Messi didn't even go up in his overall this season. He's Messi, so he still scored 20 goals. Top scorer for the club. This has not been a good season for Messi. But thanks to winning the World Cup, Messi still does end up winning his second Ballon d'Or. But still after these eight seasons scoring 194 goals, it still feels like that Champions League is missing and we've got only two seasons to try and win it. We need the wheel to send Messi to a top club now. And looks like it's going to be Manchester City. That's huge. To win the Champions League, Messi's back in England and at Manchester City. Now we're talking, boys. Messi's playing in a super team at Man City with the likes of Haaland, Rodri, Chouameni and all. But wait, there's Bukayo Saka on the bench. Do you know what? This could be an opportunity for Messi to reinvent his position. Because we've got Makati at Cam. What if Messi played in that position? I think it would be better for the team. For the better of the team, we're converting Messi to a Cam. Oh wow, that sacrificed Messi's overall by one. But I think this works in favour of the team. It's time to see if Messi can finally win the Champions League. End of the Premier League season and Messi secured another one? Bro, Messi's like a league winning machine. And wait, what? As a Cam, Messi's taking his game to another level. He's 97 rated now. Bro, this might be the most perfect season he's had on the pitch. 31 goals and 22 assists. That's crazy. But wait, what? Man City weren't even in the Champions League. I cannot believe it. They were in the Conference League. Where has the wheel sent Messi? And to make things worse, they even got knocked out in the semi-finals. Just that, that makes no sense. Even though Messi's had a crazy season in the Premier League, he's now on 225 goals in these nine seasons. He's not going to get a Ballon d'Or because Bro wasn't even playing in the Champions League. He's just got one more season left to try and win it. And that final season is going to be at Real Madrid, of course. Cover your eyes in horror, boys, because we've just sent Messi to Madrid. And to fit him in this crazy Real Madrid team, we're playing Messi at center forward. He's finally playing that false nine position, but it's at Real Madrid. Surely now at Real Madrid, Messi can finally win the Champions League. It's his last chance. No way, man. In his final season, Atletico knock him out of the Champions League. Oof, and Messi has taken a massive L here at Real Madrid. Didn't even win the league. I guess his inner Barcelona fan will be happy seeing Barca win the league. Messi as a centre forward still went up to a 98 overall. Ooh, but his last season was kind of an L. Maybe he didn't want to perform for Real Madrid. That would explain it. Over these 10 seasons though, Messi has scored 243 goals, 118 assists, won a World Cup, multiple league titles. The only thing he couldn't win was the Champions League. But to still win multiple Ballon d'Ors and all these trophies with the wheel being his agent, I think it's commendable. If you guys enjoyed this video, you definitely need to watch me do this with Cristiano Ronaldo. Click here to watch that.